What's for dinner? Let's take a look. What's for dinner? No time to cook. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? What's for dinner? Hello, and welcome to What's for Dinner, where we cook quick, healthy meals every single day. I'm Ken Kostick. And I'm Mary Jo, and he's absolutely right. We make delicious meals using things you can get at your local supermarket. Right. And we make it easy, and we try and make it fun, don't we? We do. Now, what we are we do. doing today, sir? You know what? What? We're doing something we've never done on What's for Dinner. A tuna and potato <gasps> casserole. Oh, comfort food. Yes, I comfort love food. That. We're going to do that here. I could use that today, some comfort yeah. food. Yeah, yes. that sounds delicious. And what are you going to be doing? I'm going to be doing some uh, grilled vegetables, and I'm going to use some PC products and oils and dressings to make that. So that'll be a very nice accompaniment for the casserole. Yes. And then I might do something with the pizza and vegetables. I'll make that decision oh, later. Yeah. It's exciting. A vegetarian pizza. Absolutely, sir. Great. So if you want to grab a pan, I'll tell you what you require for the tuna and potato casserole. Excellent. You need one pound of cooked and sliced potatoes, about three potatoes, two seven ounce cans of tuna chunks drained well, six ounces of shredded Swiss cheese, and I'm going to shred that for you, half a cup of sliced green onions, four eggs, two cups of light cream, one teaspoon of dried dill, one teaspoon of finely chopped fresh basil, one teaspoon of pepper, and half a teaspoon of salt. There you go. That sounds Doesn't absolutely Doesn't that sound delicious. wonderful? Yes. Just tell you that one of my favorite things is, is tuna casserole. You know what? I had lots of tuna casserole when I was growing up. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Five nights a week we had and it. And as you said, it's a wonderful comfort food. Did you have potato chips on top? My mom did Crushed that. Crush them. Yeah, that yes. was the best. That oh, was when so they got good. crispy in the oven. I love that. Like that. Mm -hmm. Like that. Well, it hurt. You and me both. Simple. Thank you. Now, what I'm going to do is I've got some delicious herb and pepper olive oil, and I'm going to toss my vegetables and my garlic in this olive oil and S&P. And then after I grill that, I'm going to toss on a dressing and sprinkle goat cheese over. So that's going to be very good today. And this recipe is a really good recipe when you're, uh, the day before, when you've had baked potatoes, and you're thinking, hey, what am I going to have more for brunch or for supper? Throw in three or four more potatoes, bake them, and what we're using the potatoes for, Mary Jo, is the crust oh, of this casserole. We do that a lot on what's for dinner. We That's do. a very good tip. Sometimes we bake them in advance, and sometimes we don't. Absolutely, sir. And you know what? i got to tell you something. Oh, dear. The kids are playing in the yard. I know. So if we hear them, Not don't to be worry. too concerned. I yeah. know. I won't yeah. be. I love those kids. I know. Benjamin and Jake. Jake and Jake. Benji. They're yes. such good friends. Now, they were holding hands while they were playing hockey. It was quite adorable. It was cute. It was cute. Absolutely. Benjamin always comes across the street because Connor, the little guy he plays with, lives on my side of the street. Yeah. And Benjamin lives across. So he always has to flag me down and I have to go across, get him, because he's not allowed to cross the street no. alone. Are you now? I, you, now you finally I finally got that privilege? Just the last couple of weeks. Oh, because, you know, I'd hate to see that yeah. action happen to if you were crossing. But you don't live in a very busy street, do you? No, no, no. Excellent. No, I don't. Now, I'm just going to, I'm just slicing my eggplant into nice little disc size shapes to grill. And, what? and um, I'm just going to grill my asparagus. I'm not even going to blanch them, so they'll cook as well. And we've got some peppers blanch. and zucchini. Blanch. And I've got some nice mushrooms, a nice assortment of mushrooms today. Sounds wonderful. Just fixing my jacket. You know, you look lovely Do today. Do I look lovely? You look lovely today. Thanks. I'm wearing my orthopedic loafers. Did you see? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do you like With that no look? hose. That's yeah. a very attractive look. Oh, uh, well, you've got my hose on today. I do. You I do. You know that. So. Now, what I'm going to do is just spray the bottom of my casserole pan or dish. Okay. Just to make sure. What you can do is you can use butter 
or some oil. But I find that the spray works out really well because it goes evenly. Now, can I ask you a question? Are you sure. going to brown your potatoes nope. first, or are you just going to do it all in the, that one casserole dish? I'm just going to do it all in the one casserole dish. But oh. you know what, Mary Jo? That no. was a very good point. Was it a good point? Yeah, you know what? To brown them first yes. and then put them and in. And then put it in. Oh, you know, oh. Oh, oh, it's coming to Coming to me. We could have grilled them. So oh they'd have gosh. cute little grill marks. That's hey? such a good idea. But you know what? If you could you replace the tuna to... with ham if you wanted to for this dish. Is that what I just had to go for it? Because I was just standing over here cutting vegetables. You were not going to let me do that, were you? No. Replace the tuna with no. ham. A ham casserole would be yummy. Oh. Yes. You know what? Or... I'm making the executive decision. I need a bigger bowl. Or you know what? What? You could replace it with turkey. Leftover turkey would be good. Turkey would be delicious. Yeah. That's a good one. Okay, we'll just put these in the bowl. I made a bit of a bowl change, but that's fine. I'm allowed. So, Mary Jo. Yes, dear. Laugh for me. Oh, I can't today. Do it. I do can't it. do the laugh. I'm too I'll tell tired. you what. I'll tell you what. If you do the laugh for me and make me chuckle. Yeah. I promise I'll let you do the viewer mail. You won't I always have to do steal. the viewer mail, though. What else can you give me? Okay. I what else are you talking here? Uh, I'll let you do the trivia question. I always do the trivia question. What else have you got in your bag of tricks there, mm. sir? I'll give you one of my cigars. Okay. Okay. So I'll do the do laugh it. for me. Okay, but I, I'm sort of tired today. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening to my career? Oh, was that a good one? That was a good one. That was good. Look at me and do it. Look at me and do it. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? It's pathetic. Oh, Kenny, you know what? look it what you got pathetic. me to do, man. You, I've just got you to do that for the whole country. No dates for me this Friday no. and Saturday. You know what that means? I'm coming over to your house and we're going to try on dresses again. So, again? Yeah. yeah. What can I tell you, Or Ken? you're going to wash my car. I'm not washing your car anymore. You know what? I've got to tell you, the last time you washed my car, you didn't do a very good job. Very, it's because you were lounging around in your deck chair in your little shorts and your nautical I know, top. I couldn't I concentrate. That's what happened there, Mr. Caustic. You can't dress so alluring around I me because I can't concentrate. Okay, so I'm, I'm making I'm, I'm a kidding. crust. Yeah. No, you're not. I look very alluring. When you wear your little sailor outfit with the beret, <laughs> do you know half the people quit on the show after you wore that outfit? I know. Was, they got scared. Oh, I was terrified. But you saw me in the hockey outfit. That was very macho. That was very macho with shoulder pads. I like yeah. that. Yeah, that looked good on you. Now. Yes, sir. I'm making a crust, as I told you. Yeah, I know. And I've made an executive decision to do a crust that goes up the side. There you go. Oh, that's a very good idea. Mm -hmm. I support you sides. totally, sir. There I really go. do. Chopping up my nice yellow pepper, and I'm going to chop up my red pepper. Now, what other comfort food did you enjoy when you were a kid? Okay, I told you the cheese dreams, which okay. was the toast of the melted cheese and the raw Your bacon. Your mom was an expert at that. Yeah. Okay. We had a lot of pork chops. Yeah. Pork chops with applesauce. We had chicken wings. Yes. It was a big one. Yeah. And we had macaroni and cheese with tuna. And crushed oh, potato chips really? on top. Yeah. Mm. That was our diet, essentially. You know what my favorite uh, comfort food was? What? My mom used to make chili. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, my mother never would do chili. Oh, yeah, my mom used to make chili. It was wonderful. Was it delicious? Yeah, and she'd put, like, sugar in it so it had a slightly sweet taste. Did she put in Lots some beer? Lots of Tabasco. No. No, no alcohol? Beer. Oh, no, not for Helen. Helen doesn't do alcohol. Doesn't, Helen doesn't drink? No, not at all. Oh, no. I didn't know that. No. I know she plays bingo. She does. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, in goes the flake tu tuna, and as we said, you could replace the tuna with ham. Now, a bit of a, a tip with the tuna, too. If you're trying to cut back on fat... You weren't going to let me finish. Oh, what were you going to say? I was going to say you ham. could also replace the tuna with turkey. turkey. Leftover turkey or leftover chicken. Okay, now you can talk. I can talk now? Yeah. Um, what I was going to say is that if you're trying to cut back on fat because right. you get the tuna in the oil, you can either drain all the oil off the tuna or you can buy tuna in water, which right. is a really good... Uh, I always do that. Yeah, me too. I always buy the tuna in water. Absolutely. There I'm going to put go. a little bit of this delicious oil onto my veggies. Oh, my goodness. And a little S&P, and I'm going to throw in my garlic. Now, I have a bit of a trivia question for my friend uh -oh. Ken pertaining Already? to our date. I've got a lot of work to do then. I know you do. You've been chatting up a storm. Hmm. Now, listen, I want to ask you a trivia question, and okay. it, it could pertain to our weekend this weekend. Uh-oh. If you eat asparagus, what does it enhance? <gasps> do you know? Can we say this on television? Yes, of course we can say this on TV. What are you going to say? When we get back from the break on what's for dinner, he's going to answer the question. I think he will. Son?
welcome back to What's for Dinner. Um, I've just prepared my vegetables to go on the grill, but before I do that, I'd like to ask a trivia question to my nautical-looking co-host today. He's working yes. with tune, and he's got his little sailor suit on. Um, Kenny, mm -hmm. if you eat asparagus, yep. what does it enhance? It enhances the shine in your hair. Oh, no. It enhances your sexuality. Whoa! Yeah! Boy, oh, I... Cancer in my dish! Boy, you I can should eat some. You can have some, aren't you? Yes, I'm going to. Yeah, that'll be good. That's a tip. Yes. Absolutely. I'm going to get these on the grill now. Here we go. I'm chopping up my dill and my fresh basil. Now, it says to use dried dill, but I went ahead, took a chance, you know, and we had some fresh dill, so I used that. Oh, I think that's better. Hey. Quite frankly. Shirley. Living on the wild side there, Mary Jo. Oh, you are. Yes. Okay, so I'm just getting these all on the grill. These are good. I love grilled vegetables. It's one of my favorite dishes. You could do lots of things with them, salads or sandwiches. Yeah. I, I do extra. When I grill my vegetables, say, for a supper, I do extra. The next day, I have grilled focaccia sandwiches. Oh. Or focaccia. Focaccio. It just depends how you want to. Yeah. That sounds really good. I'm going to sprinkle some of my garlic cloves right on the grill, like that and get this happening. And you know what's a really good thing to try if you want is to roast a whole, um, a whole section of garlic. It's delicious. And if you do it yeah. for about an hour, the garlicky taste goes and it gets very sweet and it caramelizes. It's absolutely delicious. And you know what you can do? You can take it out and you can spread it on bread yeah, like yeah, butter. Yeah. And the garlicky taste really isn't that strong. No, it's not. It's no? so good. So I'm going to spread my green onions around. And this is uh, making the bottom of the casserole. Yes, sir. Doesn't this look wonderful, Mary oh, yeah, this, it does. this is such a simple recipe. I know. Yeah. And we all grew up with it, so it's nice to walk down memory lane a little bit, isn't Every it? Every so often you have to do that. Yep. I'm using four eggs. Good. I put in my uh, herbs, and I'm going to add a little bit of S&P when I mix it up. And you know what I think I'm going to do today? No. Because I... I I think we don't have a lot of time. What are you going to do? Because I want to get on to that vegetarian pizza. Oh, really? Is I'm going to start this off in the microwave, and then I'm going to move it into the oven to get crispy. Now, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Now, I've got some extra vegetables left over from my grilled vegetables, so Ken and I are going to work together on this pizza, and because I've got the leftover vegetables, why don't we throw them on? Oh, great idea. Is that a good idea? Yeah, because you don't want to waste in the kitchen. No, you don't. So we're going to use this Splendido pizza shell, which is great. Yeah. And uh, we'll put some lovely vegetables and some cheese. Oh, we're getting a little low on pepper oh, here. Oh, well, the budget's running out. Do you want some freshly ground? No, this is all right. I've okay. got enough. This a little bit later. of salt. This is for later. We can use that. There we go. And I'm going to add in my cream now. Good. Slowly. Slowly. <laughs> because I don't want to make a mess of my beautiful nautical shirt. No, because you look so good today. Now, of course, you could always replace this cream with uh, a low-fat milk, 1% right. skim, if you were trying to cut back on fat. But no I would, problem. <clears throat> but I would use less, because what's going to happen is it won't actually bind together. Yeah. So I would use less. Absolutely. And what helps bind this together also is the cheese in the mixture. So I'm going to use half the amount of cheese inside the egg mixture, and then I'm going to save half to garnish later and get brown on top. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Well, I'm making a bit of a decision here. Using Swiss cheese today. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm very excited. I'm walking over to our cupboard, yeah. and I'm going to see if we have any tomato sauce for our pizza. Oh, it's already made. You know what? I pulled something out of the cupboard there when I, at, at the beginning of the show. And I think I'm going to put a little bit inside just to add some flavor. Was it, what did you pull out? I think it was that jar over there. Which in the corner. Jar? In the corner. The, there. This one? Yeah. The curry and passion fruit? Yeah, I think I'll put a little bit in. This will be our pizza sauce. What do you say? Perfect. All right. Whoop. Ooh, got it. Oh, okay. don't got it. Do you want, some, do you want a hand? <coughs> Can't. Uh, oh, my. Oh, oh dear. dear. Whoa. Oh, dear. With my hockey workouts, there you go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So I'm, I'm going to put about a tablespoon of this in. Good. And that's what you should do at home. Look and see what you have in the fridge, because you probably have stuff like Dijon mustard. You might have some chutney. A little extra tomato sure. sauce. Anything you got lying around. Salsa would Ooh, be good. That's true. Yeah, salsa would be good. So I'm just lining this with a little bit of tomato sauce, and then we're going to put on, I've got tomatoes and some spinach here and fresh herbs, but I've also got eggplant and mushrooms and pepper, so I'm going to chop those up and put them on too. Oh, Mary Jo, look at this 
beautiful mixture. Oh, that looks good. Doesn't that look wonderful? Yeah, I'm going to have a milkshake with that. That's okay. my favorite thing. Too I'm going to sprinkle here with a little bit of dried dill. And you know what I think I'm going to do just to give it some color, Mary Jo? I don't know. I think I'm going to go get some chili powder or paprika and put that in there just to give it a nice yeah. red color. I think it needs a little color. Yeah. Now, I've got a bit of a tip of the day, and it's coming to me. Eggs are considered a complete protein since they contain the nine amino acids the body cannot make. So that's a good thing to know. If you're missing those things, you can get it in an egg. You can. Yeah, absolutely. Grab my veggies and uh, use these for a pizza. There we go. Wonderful. Paprika. And a, just to give it a tiny, tangy taste, a zing, I've added in some chili powder. And you know what? Another thing we could have done, because I like things really spicy. Yeah. When I was doing the egg mixture, I just thought about it now. We could have put some hot sauce in. Yeah. You can, you can put a few drops in, no problem. Or you could have chopped up some jalapeno pepper. Oh, that would have been good. Yes. No oh, I did agree it. to let you do the viewer mail today. You did. Because you did your... <laughs> And you do For love me. that, don't I you? Do Gets you going. That. Don't need the asparagus if I've got that laugh. Hi, Ken and Mary Jo. Because of your terrific TV show, I now spend far more time creating nutritious and interesting meals. More importantly, I really enjoy it, so that's awesome. Thank you both for the inspiration. Um, oh, this is cool. She's uh, growing her own herb garden, a fresh herb garden. So that's wonderful. So thanks again. Again, I credit you for my newfound culinary self-confidence. Absolutely. Thank you so much. That's a very nice letter. Yeah. You know, we get some very nice letters here on What's for Dinner, and people send us recipes. They give us little tips. I know. You know, it's little really interesting. Presents. It's very sweet. Chopping up some onions, and I've got some nice cherry tomatoes, so we'll slice those up. Oh, they're cute. And put these on our pizza. Oh, I just want to make sure I've preheated my oven at 350. Ooh. And I, when, when this finishes, I put it in for about four minutes. I'm going to put it back in the oven there for probably another 12 minutes. Yeah, I'd say yeah. that that's a good estimation. And that just hel helps quicken the cooking time. Yeah. Because we don't have a lot of time in the it's kitchen. It's good to use your microwave. It can be your best friend if you let it. So you know what? You're using all the leftover. Leftover grilled. And I've got spinach and fresh herbs. And I'm going to use that on our pizza and some cheese. I'll help you chop up some uh, spinach. Excellent. Okay. And some fresh herbs would be wonderful. So a little zucchini on top as well. Very healthy day today. And some asparagus. Do those. It's a bit oh. of a work of art, if I do say it so myself. It is. It is. And when you're using fresh herbs, put it underneath your cheese, because if you put it on top, the heat can burn your herbs, and you don't want that, do you? And they'll go black. They'll go black. Yeah, don't want that. Don't want that. So we'll see you in a minute on what's yep. for dinner when we create all of this. Back to what's for dinner. I just took my pizza out of the oven that we used with leftover vegetables and some spinach and asparagus and fresh herbs. It smells delicious. It does. Yeah, and I took a look at your casserole. It's browning nicely yes. in there, sir. I put, you know what? I put the extra cheese on, the Good. other half of the cheese. Good. We're going to let it uh, brown up very nicely before we bring it out. Okay. It smells good, though, it doesn't does. it? It does, yeah, and you're taking my vegetables off I the grill. I am. Grill. I'm Thank doing you. this for you. Now, I've got my... Um, dried tomato, and I've got my uh, creamy roasted garlic dressing that I'm going to toss over my uh, um, barbecued vegetables with some goat cheese. So Ooh, that's going to be very goat cheese. good. Here you go. Thank you very there much, you sir. Excellent. And I'm going to chop up some oregano. Thank you. And we'll put that, whoops. I'm going to give this a shake around. Got root. some goat cheese on me. We'll be careful. Uh, I got, uh, and we'll put this on top of the pizza. pizza. How's that? Excellent. So sure. fresh herbs on top of the pizza is a very nice thing. Just don't put them on top and then grill it. Yeah, exactly. I actually put some fresh herbs underneath the yeah. cheese, so we'll get a nice taste of fresh herbs and some nice ones now. Oh, look at this sun-dried tomato. Ooh, it's going to be good. wonderful. I'm going to put a little ground pepper, and then I'm going to do a toss -aroo. Okay, I'm going to put the pizza on here. Okay. On the plate. Thank you, sir. And get rid of this ooh, 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 cookie ooh, sheet. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. it's oh, a little hot. Is it hot? <gasps> there we oh go. my gosh, this is going to be good. Look at that, Mary Jo. Thank you very much, Beautiful. Mr. Caustic. I do believe your casserole is calling I think, you, sir. I think it is. Can't wait to see it. Mm, me too. 
Whoa. Oh, boy. Does this... Oh, the potatoes. Uh -huh. Everything just grilled up They browned beautifully. beautifully. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. And I'll put some fresh parsley on top. Add a little more color. And you know what? The decision I made with the paprika was a good one. It was really nice. It gave it some nice color. Yeah. It'll give it some delicious flavor. So I've got the herb goat cheese, and we'll just break this up over our vegetables. But if you wanted to, you could use feta cheese with that too, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you could, or ricotta, or whatever yeah. you've got would be nice. Blue cheese. <gasps> do this. Blue cheese would be good. Blue cheese would be yummy. My favorite. Would you like to recap, my friend? You know what? I think I'm going to. Okay. We have here our uh, tuna and potato casserole that we did. Comfort yes. food. Absolutely. We also All did of it is. this vegetarian pizza with a splendido uh, pizza yeah. crust. Yeah, using leftovers. And we have some grilled vegetables done with some goat cheese and what kind of sauce? Oh, we used all sorts of different, different dressings. Sauces. So it was yeah. absolutely, uh, it'll be a great taste experience. That's what I'm thinking. So until the next time, get in your kitchen and rattle those pots and pans. And thank get you into so a little much. trouble. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Have some yeah. fun in your kitchen. Be yeah. creative and cook with a partner and keep writing us here on the show because we totally enjoy receiving letters. We, we do. Absolutely. We do. We have a good time. See you next Take time. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh,